has the Islamic Republic disbanded the morality police? At this point, I have no choice but to believe that the Western media is consulting with Bangladesh about Yemen. Let's remember that two days ago, the Islamic Republic contacted Russia for help on how to quell the uprisings, right? Not more than 48 hours later, the Western media is reporting that the morality police has been <laughs> disbanded. Let's understand how the military framework in the Islamic Republic works. One of them is the IRGC, which is called the SEPA, which protects Velayat Fadi, which is the supreme leader who protects the state. Artesh, which is the national army. And then you have standard law enforcement, which is called Farajah. There's one branch of law enforcement, which is the morality police, which are called Gashta Ershad. Have they been disbanded? No, they have changed disguise. Instead of being patrol officers, they have now become surveillance officers. So what's happening is that they are using surveillance technology with facial recognition to detect women who are not wearing the hijab in the streets. And then they are arresting them by going to their houses and finding them, which is significantly worse than patrol. All of this is under guise of reform to keep eyes off of the Islamic Republic. And clearly it's working because look at what the Western media is doing. Did the Western media bother to explain to you that these are not the forces that are in the streets every day? The forces in the street are the IRGC, the SEPA, which are estimated to be around a quarter of a million highly, 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 highly trained military personnel and Basij. The Basij is estimated at around 12 million. They are a paramilitary force and they are so militant that they were doing this as militia before they were even an arm of the state. These are the people that we're concerned about. If you want help understanding this, ask yourself this question. Is there still compulsory hijab in Iran? Okay. If the answer is yes, then what does that mean? If it is law, mandatory, that women have to wear hijab, what does that mean? It means that the law must be enforced. If there's no enforcement of the law, then it's not a law, is it? This is simple high school separation of powers. So if the law exists on the books, that means that there is a branch of government that is responsible for enforcing that law. Let's say there was no morality police, fine. Some other branch of Farajar, the law enforcement, is going to be enforcing that law. But we know that they haven't been disbanded. They're just switching to surveillance, which is even worse. Next time, do you need more money? Do you need more of a budget to consult? Is that what it is? Because we're happy to raise funds for you to confer with people who know, instead of just spreading misleading out of context journalism. Please ask us, we're happy to provide.